Have Jacko and Leon not played? <laughs> Three, that one. Two, one, go. That's hard, dude. I could I, even I can't do that. Ultimate pet. <laughs> that, that's what they call me back in Nam. Oh wait, he's going Rosa. I thought he was gonna go. Madison, Madison framed it like he was gonna go DK. I think. There, uh, there. <clears throat> Bump. Bro, I literally cannot win Rosa Nair. I, I didn't realize how good it was until I watched Rise Rage. I'm like, oh, it just combos into fucking everything. All right, let's see if Star GG's going to work. Oh, it is. Okay, so... Oh, Leon's up on sets on Jackal. Not any oh, still is. No, C still is. It's now 10-9. That killed? She's dead. I lost the first. Potentially first and second for her. No, not potentially. They were for, they are first and second. And that's my fault, honestly. I should have I should have beat first and second for first. Yeah. Obviously. That's my fault. You should always beat first and second for first. I'm not Mike, he's not here. I miss Mike. Mike, come save us. Mike, we need your help. We're imploding on ourselves, not really. Ugh. Nice nipple. Alright, wait, did I finish grading it? Oh frick. Wait. And then, it, this is, yeah, he, uh, you know what. Okay. I finished grading it, and I can just finish it. Later. You ready to go? I am ready to go whenever you want. Also, yep, look at that. So you wanna roll? Shout out, um. Shout out, Amsa. Amsa for being. Amsa beat Zane Day Frog in Aqua. Do you want to attractive? Let him go. How many of them are, how many of them are attractive? How many of them are attractive? Jay moves at. Yeah. No, Logan moves at. Yes, yes. Not bad, not bad. Zane's hot. Zane's hot. Oh, yeah. Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get this on record. Zane is hot. Yes. Hbox is like asshole dad. Apple dad? Asshole dad. Oh! Some people are into that. Yeah. So Xbox if you have daddy issues. <laughs> so wait, people find Xbox attractive if you have daddy issues? I don't know. I might have just cracked the code. <laughs> I just cracked the code. Alright, and then Amsa is... Well, Amsa is cool. Yeah. He's hot because he plays Yoshi. Apparently not. Yoshi is not... He has, he has such a good quote. And he said Yoshi is good. <laughs> I did not even see that on my Twitter timeline. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're yeah. We're leaving. All right. Shout out. Thank you, RVA, for having us. Thank you, us. Chad. We love you. Yeah. Seedle has to go. We're hungry. All right. Bye, y'all.
Rosato, Rosalina and Luma. I have no idea what game this is, but we're coming in here into our last stock situation. Viceroy at 148%. Diddy Kong, 87%. Madison has struggled against Viceroy uh, historically. Uh, she was probably hoping for Solar to take it because it was it would have been a, maybe a closer set, but it looks like she might have figured something out. We see a good percent lead here for her. So let's see if she can get off this ledge. Nice, good monkey flip, using the kick to relieve the pressure, setting up a situation where maybe she can get this stuck if she can just get stage control. Rosa with stage control, one of the most broken characters in the game. I don't care what you say. There's the back here. That should do it. No great DI from Vice. We're going right to the corner as per usual. 
Luma kind of bodyguarding Rosa there, not letting the banana connect. And we're seeing 74% rack up, and this is why. Oh my gosh, this banana F smash. Baseball, what game is this? Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm just coming into this thing kind of in the middle. So I just want to give you guys someone to listen to while we watch this very exciting set. Uh, Madison Turner on winner's side. And getting on the board here. Uh, something something historically that has been kind of difficult here. Nature in the chat, what's up, dude? Guys, thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, please hit the follow button. I am Nomad SSB. Uh, I stream every Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. You can follow me at my channel as well at twitch.tv slash nomadssb. I'll be running sets of viewers tonight. We'll be playing some Smash Ultimate on my stream. So if you haven't had enough, please come through. Probably about 9.30, 10-ish, 10.30 maybe. Somewhere in there. I'll announce it in my Discord. Uh, but anyway, on to game four here. Madison on the board here. I didn't see what the stage was. But historically speaking, like I said, Viceroy uh, has the edge here in this matchup. Uh, in the player matchup, at least. I'm not sure what the Diddies think about fighting Rosa, but I'm pretty sure it's not great, being that she can absorb banana. She has a lot of uh, a lot of edge guard potential, and of course, Diddy Kong, very vulnerable when he uses the barrels. Nice recovery from Madison, up being as soon as she could to stay alive there. And here comes the shield pressure. While Luma is dead, this is the time to strike while the iron is hot. Nice banana to grab there, setting up for some more damage here. Looking for the angel drop, not going to connect, and Viceroy rolls the stage safely. Let's see if Viceroy can find something while oh, she's off stage here. No, she's going to dodge the Luma. Uh, Sybe's high there. Great stuff from Madison. It's a very slight percent lead, but being at ledge here against this character is such a nightmare. Stage control in this matchup is critical. That barrel was so productive. It killed Luma and almost killed Rosa, not quite taking it. Great back air, setting up for a ledge trap here. Another angel drop attempt, but you put yourself off stage. Okay, nice. No no punish there. This jab shouldn't kill, but gonna come very close. Diddy Kong, not a very heavy character. Yep, and you can send Rose, a Luma down there to jab under the ledge. She punched the crap out of that Luma, but it's not going to matter because Rosa, Rosa's in charge. She's the one. Nice banana F smash, 171, evening things up. Very even game here on small battlefield. I think a great stage pick for both characters. No one gets a particular advantage. Of course, Rosa very strong under platform. Uh, and Diddy Kong loves all of this, this, this layout for his mobility, being able to stay very hard to approach, very hard to pin down. Jab lock, F smash there, and that's gonna kill from center 91. Madison kind of shrugging it off. I like the mindset. We're not upset. We're not upset, we're just disappointed. Nearing on the shield, very safe move crossing up there to make sure not to get grabbed. And Viceroy starts his ledge trap again here. His, his whole flow chart is gonna be trying to put you on ledge and then send Luma to do the fighting because Rosa can't be bothered. And then Luma gonna, gonna kill you at low percent. Nice there, good reaction there from Viceroy. Madison has not had stage control for quite a while, racking up 68% here. The barrel's again gonna barely make it back. Nice, good patience there from Madison, not releasing the upbeat too soon. You don't wanna get hit with the Luma down air. The Luma down air actually sends out and kills absurdly early for no reason. And Luma should be at a decent amount of damage here. Just kidding, that's just gonna be Banana F Smash. 83% on Madison. Can she bring us to a game five in this first set? Or will we see Viceroy? Will we see Viceroy resetting this bracket, coming back from losers? He did fall to Solar earlier, who uh, fell to him in the run back. So good stuff to him there, figuring it out. Very adaptive players uh, that you guys are seeing right now, which is why you should follow the channel. We have this local every Sunday. Lots of high level Smash, lots of Dashback F smashes to reset the bracket. Insanity. And this is without the Donkey Kong. Uh, Madison was talking to me before the set and was worried about the Donkey Kong more than the Rosa. So we're going back to PS2 here. Uh, I think Rosa Diddy uh, it should be slight, maybe slight Rosa just because of. Uh, the pocket dimension, she can pocket your 
item, and of course the edge guarding. But of course, uh, being a bigger, I mean, she's sort of a bigger body, but she's just skinny. She falls out of a lot of stuff. So not having a ton of multi-hits, Diddy's combo game should still be pretty good on such a tall character. But we're going to see what uh, what kind of adaptation these players are going to make. Nice, great job killing Luma pretty instantly, but trading 29% for their trouble there. All right, gets the jab going here. Decent percent built up from Viceroy already. Trying to get a ledge trap started. Nice F smash. See, that's that's the thing. You have to decide, is it worth the percent or the hit to kill Rosa, once, or to kill Luma. Once Luma's dead, Rosa is half of a character. Uh, still crazy. That Nair is still absolutely stupid. Uh, very broken move. Nice down air from Viceroy. What great timing on deck there. And recovering safely. Only 56% on him too for this first stock, but no Luma on deck. What do you do here if you're Madison? Madison's whole strategy revolves around kind of death by a thousand cuts. Like just playing safe, lots of neutral resets. Do my true combo, reset neutral, pull banana, and uh, get a punish out of shield typically. But uh, when you are down at this, at this level against a character that has cheese potential like Rosa, it is very tough. Because now Viceroy can play very safe. Oh, the F smash. Not, see, there it is. Not connecting with Rosa, but hitting Luma. Because the hit stun gets a punish. 69% already. And the jab stereo. You have to do a get up attack if, sometimes, unless the Luma's too high. And then you can do like a pop from ledge up air there to get rid of Luma. I kind of like the idea with these barrels. It kind of reminds me of how Madison fights Belmonts. Uh, maybe maybe incorporate more of that. But now, of course, not in this position because you're already uh, down. I'm about to be lapped into scent here. Nice barrels into Rosa there. Can't kill the Luma. Luma is going to absurdly float into the stage for uh, no reason here. Both characters have some weird hurtbox shifting that goes on. So there's situations where you think there's going to be a punish, and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Nice parry from Viceroy, but Luma, of course, cannot parry. She has no shield of her own. Forward throw and and Viceroy holding on to this first stock. Oh, Madison, you're going to... Oh, trade stocks. Okay. That's not the worst. Your stock was pretty, pretty, pretty ripe at that point. But, of course, you want to try and get some extra percent. And that's going to be <gasps> barrels exploding there. Madison makes it back barely. No jump on deck. Returning to center stage. Stage control. The thing is, most people don't realize how important stage control is in this matchup. Literally just standing on the Pokeball and, like, refusing to leave is so strong in this matchup because Viceroy plays in a very... He plays with Punish very heavily. Both both of these players love the with Punish. It's what they want to do. And that F-Smash is going to take game one from center. Only 31 for, uh, 34 percent of two stock coming out from Viceroy. Great stuff. So let's see where we end up going for game two of this bracket reset. Madison did get a game last set. This is a tough spot here. Guys, I am Nomad SSB. I'll be streaming later tonight at Nomad SSB on Twitch. Please come through. Please give me a follow. I'll be running sets of viewers if you have not had enough of Smash Ultimate for your evening. And here we go. Also, follow me on Twitter, Nomad RBA on Twitter. I only tweet good tweets. No drama, you know? We chillin', we chillin'. Anyway, Madison instantly tried to start with the barrels. I like the idea. It's kind of how you fight Steve as Diddy Kong, using the barrels to get rid of the blocks safely because of the bounce away. Nice. Not going to get a follow-up on the Luma, though, and already 40% on Diddy Kong. Viceroy poking at the ledge with these lunar landing back airs. Already 64%, and Luma is finally dead. Finally dead, but it took 82%. Listen, Luma has 50 HP for some reason. I ain't sure what's going on there. But it's very strong, especially it's looking like Viceroy. Uh, it's kind of like a strong understanding of where Madison is going to go when she is hit. And you get clipped a lot in this matchup because Luma's hitbox, Rose's hitboxes are so big. And of course, Luma's in there too. So you have very safe, very large moves that are enabling these uh, juggles in Madison, having trouble navigating it. Vice for knowing exactly what she wants to do in, uh, when she's in disadvantage. That's a really risky air dodge. Are you coming back? Yeah, barely making it, but already lapping percent on this second stock here. It's a B. Okay, Madison taking Vice to smash well, maybe for this reason right here. We're seeing some good juggles. Uh, Luma's still alive, though. How did the dash attack miss? 
How did it miss Luma? <laughs> All right, Banana into F Smash, but he was in the air, so it's not going to connect. Madison kind of reading there, not really reacting. Nice, that's going to actually kill Luma. Vice Lord trying to come on the stage with a little pressure to create some uh, distance with that Nair, but it's not going to work, and that F Smash is going to take it. 90% though, stacked up on Diddy Kong, and how do you how do you deal with the invincibility? Nice, okay, Banana double tripping there, and that's going to be a kill. Very good reaction from Vice Roy, down smashing because it hits on both sides. All right, what do you do? How do you get this back? You need to spike or something, because uh, Vice Roy's struggle game, very strong, and of course, he's at his best when he has the lead, and you have to approach. Madison, a player that is very patient. I've not used to seeing her fight this much. Uh, of course, Diddy can scrap. He can box. He has very ridiculous frame data. But Rosalina is one of those characters with just like absurdly huge moves. So if you're slightly wrong and they're slightly right, they're going to hit you. Nice punish from Viceroy grabbing the whiff F smash so quick there. He's playing very reactionary and uh, very quick. I'm missing any of these punishes. Sending in Luma. Good dash attack there. Actually pushing in. But Madison going to hit the fair from ledge there. Luma still fighting in the corner there. Oh, looking for that wave land forward up smash. It's a very cool tech uh, that Viceroy is fond of abusing. Nice banana up smash. Uh, what? That's so silly. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the get out of jail free card that is Luma coming through there. But 110% on Madison, just take the stock with the banana down smash. Vysor with a healthy lead here and just going to take the stock immediately. Oh, just kidding. Madison lives. Good side B. Oh, barely made it. Sweet spotting the ledge. Down throw. Looking for down air. Maybe looking for some cheese of our own here. Vysor setting up his ledge trap and that should kill. Yep. Nice jab from ledge from Viceroy, Setting up that ledge trap. Such a safe way to pressure an opponent at ledge. And that's already two games on deck in this reset for Viceroy. One more and he walks away as your RVA uh, 61, Smash 61 champion. Can he take it or can Madison figure something out here? I feel like she's playing well. Uh, like I said, she's scrapping a lot. And Viceroy is happy to play the whiff punish game. But... If Madison can take the lead and force Viceroy to approach, maybe we'll see different energy. That's like the one game she did win, I think, was the game where she took an earlier lead. So let's see if she can figure this out. Nice banana to the down throw, and that's gonna kill Luma as well. Very, very productive combo there. Yep, gonna get this started too. Nair to Nair, 47% stack up on Viceroy. Oh, fair, no grab there. He usually uh, does the drag down fair into grab. Oh wow, looking to kill you immediately with that Luma F Smash. Luma F Smash is so strong. And looking for the spike. He's always looking to take your stock with immediacy. Oh wow, the banana just coming right back. And that's gonna be up throw up air. Combo that works forever. Nice, electing to grab the ledge. Can you get back to stage here or will Viceroy clean up the edge guard? Not this time, we're resetting neutral. Nice back air. Maybe he should have been up air. Might have actually taken the stock there, but it is a little stale. It's hard to say. So this is the position where Madison could actually get the stock. How did that monkey flip miss? Oh, and how did that up smash miss? Lots of spaghetti all over the ground, guys. We see noodles everywhere. No Min, Min on screen, though. Kind of crazy. And calling out the monkey flip. Just waiting as long as possible. Floating up in the air. Sometimes being floaty has an advantage. Uh, because you don't have to bet it all in your jump. You can just float up there and wait. Uh, whereas, like, a disadvantage, of course, being floaty is not an advantage. But in advantage, I think being floaty is kind of broken. 150 on Viceroy, but stacking it up 20% on Madison. Can Madison close the stock out before this damage becomes too much to come back from? Viceroy pushing her to the corner without even approaching. Crazy option there. Up smash, betting it all. Gonna clip him with the last hit. Nice pressure from Viceroy, fairing onto the platform. Madison not shielding all of the hits. It hits a million times. You gotta be ready for that. Nice job from Madison, spacing around the Nair. 
back throw, always gonna get punished by Luma if she's alive, which is such a cool, such a cool little thing that happens. Oh, nice safe pressure from Viceroy. Back airing the shield, but not gonna get hit there. 1-9 built up on the Stiddy Kong. Can you come back here? It's a lot of percent. And Madison really wants this set. I know she does. Viceroy. He says, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready for my money. I want to make this a 3-0. Nice fair to ban uh, banana to fair there for Madison on the platform. Viceroy trying to get Luma back. Just running around. Not committing to anything. Kind of camping the platform a little bit for the timer, but Luma dies instantly. Oh, looking for the aggressive up smash there. He's been pretty passive this whole game, and that's the, that's a great mix-up for that reason. It's a timing mix-up you don't expect it, and that's an amazing parry for Viceroy. His parry game is always super deadly. Oh, you're living that. The DI. This is very even. The stock is super important. Gonna use the tilt to grab the banana. Kind of consequent incidentally there i don't think it was on purpose but we take those not able to capitalize on having the banana and the barrels wow madison kind of smiling there she loves the looney tunes nature of this character sometimes you just get a stock with those barrels driving around and viceroy cleaning up immediately leaning and look at that gamer lean from both players all right can madison get anything started here to close this small gap but her tournament life is on the line. Oh no, the insurance policy that is Luma bailing him out. All right, great pressure on the platform for Viceroy. That, I can't believe that Nair's still connected. 89% racked up so fast. His juggle game, so good. Madison trying to pull Banana, trying to get something started here. Nice, I like the monkey flip hitting both Rosa and Luma, so you don't get punished for it there. Banana F smash hitting both Rosa and Luma, and Luma barely landing on stage, so unlucky. And that's gonna be enough percent though. Can she finish this? 94%, can she get on the board? Oh, looking for that angel drop. Not gonna be punished for whiffing it though. That's something we saw earlier, we saw in set one. Uh, Madison looking for a down air that resulted in her life, but that's gonna be the up air. Great DI from Viceroy. Dead even game. You're on the ledge versus this character. What do you do? Nice grab. Shielding the Luma hit as well. All right. Madison's ledge trapping can be broken as well. Banana's a crazy tool, but she's not going to ledge trap it. She's going to up smash. That's it. Great set. 3-0 for Viceroy in the reset. Madison able to take the game, but played very well in a tournament while TOing it. I've got to give it up. That was Something that I was noting earlier, uh, having done a little bit of both now, TO and play, you have to switch into player mode, so it's super tough into some of these players, especially in top eight, where their skill level ramps up so much. Uh, but great run for Viceroy, the one seed, winning out over the likes of Solar, Madison, Amarx, and others. Of course, taking a set off of me as well, you lucky bum. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching RBA Smash 61. If you are new to the channel, please drop a follow. Uh, and if you have not followed me on Twitch as well, please do at Nomad SSB on Twitch and Nomad RBA on Twitter. Shout outs to Castleberg Brewing for uh, letting us host here for 61 weeks. This is crazy. We love uh, the staff here. We love their food. We love their drinks. So be sure to come check us out if you're in the area. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Shout outs to Viceroy for winning the tournament, Madison for the second place, and of course, Silar coming out of region and clinching the third. Uh, top 8 graphic will be on Twitter later. Be sure to check that out as well. And we will see you in the next one. Good night.